welcome back to the boat. Uh, Wednesday the 13th. Uh, it's quite early, it's about half past eight. Um, still waiting for stuff for the electrics and the solar to be delivered. So um, the plan is this morning to make a start on the battery box and also the floor in the engine room. Um, just to cover the batteries up so we can walk back and forward. I don't know whether I'll get it all done today, but because um, I'm only going to be here for two or three hours. So, but we'll see how far we get. So, buckle up, see how far we go. Okay, sorry, I didn't show you any of me cutting wood, but um, you've seen me cut wood before. So this is uh, the box I was telling you about for the battery box and the, that sort of thing. Um, so this side obviously is going to have the batteries in. It'll have the starter battery in there as well. And then that side over there will be for tools and bits and bobs. And then pretty much this whole floor will be removable on this side. Um, so. I just quickly drop this down now. So that is pretty much the height of the floor. So it's the same height as the engine beds. And then when I stand in there, I have to bow my head slightly. So it is quite low, the roof, but that's okay. That's not a problem. I can always take the floor out to work and stuff, you know. And you're never going to be stood in the engine bay for ages and ages. You're only going to walk through, aren't you, to get into the boat. So, um, and the rear cabin, the floor in the rear cabin will be about the same height as that as well. So, right, let's, uh, let's make plans then. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to take all these partitions out and do some pocket holes. Um, some pocket screw holes, yeah, pocket jig or pocket screw holes, whatever you want to call them. And then before I refit these these uh, bits of wood, I'm going to sand them down and paint them and get them looking nice and pretty. Um, I'm probably going to paint them with red oxide, actually. Uh, and then I'll probably keep them red, maybe. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. Because it needs to be something that's um, fairly chemical resistant, because there's going to be oils and, and the batteries are down here and stuff, and stuff's going to be dropped on it and that, you know, and whatnot. So it needs to be fairly resistant. I do have bilge paint somewhere. I think it's hiding under there or something. I've got some bilge paint, so I could even use that. So there you go. Right, let's crack on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take these out now, sand them all down, drill pocket holes, paint them, put it back in, and then make a floor to go on top. Uh, what I do need to do yet still is make partitions for the insides for the batteries, uh, just to hold them straight or hold them in. Uh, I'd like to put partitions down between each battery if possible and then there'll be some insulation under the batteries and then also insulation perhaps on top of the batteries I'm not not give that as 100% thought yet about on top of the batteries but there will be something you know somewhere so okay all right let's crack on
back at the boat Thursday 14th of April um, battery box still so let's uh, stop messing about let's crack on get on with it I have a delivery yesterday um, so I've got some more toys to show you so let's have a, a quick unpack and show you what I've got and then we'll crack on with the battery box and tidying up and that sort of stuff okay okay so toys and wrapping time so we have a negative buzz bar that's the first one and the second parcel is okay we've got all the terminals so we've got the um 50 millimeter cable terminals which uh, have eight millimeter holes which is perfectly suitable for the batteries so i've got loads of those i bought more than enough of that so i've got extras i've got spares if you like that's another one um, two packets of cable so i think we have red and black so there's two meters of cable that should be enough i don't need much 50 mil it's only um, mainly up to the inverter I need 50. Between the battery terminals and the inverter, I can always um, order a bit more if I need to anyway. So, uh, so that's two meters of cable. And I've got two meters of red as well. So that's that, that's good. Put them out of the way for a second. Hold that up. And then the magic. I've already opened this because I was too happy to have a look at it yesterday when it arrived. So let's just get the box out, that box out of the way. Right, I haven't actually taken it out of the box yet, I've just opened it to have a look. So that's the new inverter. So in the end I went for a, um, a Renogy 3000 watt inverter. Uh, that should be more than enough to power uh, the washing machine and other stuff on the boat. It was mainly the wash machine I've got to worry about when I'm, because I'll only ever have the wash machine on when I'm actually cruising, but I needed something that was powerful enough and that could cope with it. And that's the reason why I've got uh, the big bank of batteries is to cope with the wash machine and things like that. You know, so. uh, okay, so have a look. It's just it's massive, it's absolutely huge. And so we've got the terminals in, look the plugs in um, a few of the plugs the one these are a bit smaller than what I'll be using I'll be using um, the 50 millimeter cable it's very nice that is it's very posh it's absolutely massive yeah so as usual yeah all good stuff so as it's got power in as well oh there's a remote switch that comes with it as well so I assume y'all can fit that up on the top, have this hidden away and I can use that to turn it on and off with, which is good. So basically it means I can mount this anywhere I like. I can mount it right down in the bilge if need be, but it'll be up on display with everything else. So that's really good. Um, and there is a power cable there as well. So I'm assuming, yeah, so I'm assuming it'll probably, you could probably use it as a charger as well, maybe inverter charger because it's got 240, uh, 230 volt input. So I'll have to have a quick read of that and find out. But that is absolutely fabulous. Look at that, that's massive, isn't it? It's huge, it's huge. But that'll fit in nicely with me uh, solar controller and me battery charger and all that sort of stuff. It's all good, okay. All right, let's get on with um, carrying on with the battery box.
they look a bit out on them runners there on the bearers underneath the floors however they're square so the, the, the corners here are square but they're slightly out on the runners so I'm wondering whether the runners aren't square or maybe the boat's slightly off yeah <laughs> who knows but um, yeah they're square anyway which is all you need isn't it really and no one's going to see them anyway because it's under the floor you know you won't see any of that it's all under the floor so yeah let's get this center one in we can just measure that and get it square can't we you know and then we just screw it in place jobs are good and then Okay, um, while I'm waiting for that paint to dry on the on the floorboard for the battery box, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cables I need to make. Um, I think they're all going to be pretty much the same length. Uh, these. Ideally, we'd want them all to be the same length anyway. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll find which one is the longest and I will make them all to the same length. That way, um, we uh, we don't have any issues with uh, overcharging one battery or undercharging another. Okay, so I think that's one of the last ones I made. So if I make them all this length, um, I know I've got these cables, but I've got um, that heavy duty 50 millimeter cable. So. So what I think I'll do is I'll make um, three black, three red, and then I'll decide what I'm going to do that with that one in a minute. Okay, and I'll use the 50mm uh, cable to do this. Okay, right, let's stand by and I'll show you how we do a cable.
first one on. Um, put a bit of heat shrink over that, which I will show you now. Okay, that's uh, glued. You can see the glue in there. I don't think you can see it at the end. Just see bits of glue sticking out, but that's uh, that's it done. So we'll make the others and we'll we'll stick them all together at the same time. So that takes a bit of a while. That does, but that's nicely glued on there, nice and tight fit, very warm. Okay. Okay, paint's dry kind of. That's as far as I've got so far. So these six are wedged in. Well, not wedged in, they'll be screwed in. Um, they don't need tie down because they're, they're not gonna go anywhere. They're not gonna go anywhere. And the starter battery fits in there a treat as well. That's absolutely awesome in there. And that gives me a little bit of room in there. Look, I can keep um, distilled water or something in there for the batteries, you know, or something like that. Yeah. It's not screwed together well these ones here aren't yet but uh, I'm just gonna do that now I've got to lift the batteries out again um, and screw them in and once they're screwed in the batteries can go back in and then uh, I'm done well I'm not done but the batteries are done you know so yeah it's getting there slowly isn't it? it's getting there slowly I'd like to paint these before um, before I fit the batteries in but I can do that anytime, you know, once they're in and they're secure there now, that's the final position for the batteries. Once they're in like that, I can, um, I can call it job done almost, you know. So, and they, they'll just lift out a couple of hooks in the side. There's little holes you can hook, put hooks in, little hooks, lift the battery out. Brilliant. And then this side, I may just put a petition halfway down here somewhere just to store tools and whatever. I can leave this open, this won't be a problem. This is fine. There you go. What do you think? They're not too bad, does it? Seen worse. Seen a lot worse. Okay.
now we're screwed in. Um, he won't win any carpentry awards, but it's in and it's strong. You ain't uh, you ain't knocking that over in a hurry. So yeah, I'm not saying it's all dead square and perfect, but um, it's in and it's strong. You can stand on it, not a problem. It ain't going anywhere, you know. So if this ain't going anywhere, neither are the batteries. Okay, right. Let's uh, take the batteries out, get a paintbrush out, and start painting. Finish off the uh, finish off the red. Thank you. 